Hey guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Starting this one off here because as I'm editing, I realized I did not do an intro. So hello, welcome to all of you that are new. And my oldies but my goodies, I love you guys. Thank you for being here. So yeah, welcome back to in another weekly vlog situation. I'm currently dressed and ready for work. Um, might as well show you my outfit. I'm wearing this cropped it's not a crop, it's like a t-shirt from the brand called Riona. I love them. I will link it down below for you. Their stuff is always sold out, especially these kind of tanks because they're so popular. So if it's in stock, I, well I hope it is, you guys will be able to get one. Highly recommend. Such a good quality, like basic. I love the fit of it because it really just like... Okay, so if you're feeling... It's just gonna... It's just gonna get you right where you need to be and i love that because it does it to my arms my my boob i think the boob sit i'm sorry for saying the word boob but um the boob part is really what makes me fall in love with this shirt because i don't have to wear a bra and no one will ever know because the fabric is so thick your nipples like if you get cold or anything like it won't like show you know that's kind of that whole thing by the way sorry for the construction of course they decide to start construction when i start vlogging but you know what i'm learning not to be too bothered by things i can't control everything i can't control this construction <laughs> but yeah i'm just wearing this top this shirt from riona and i'm just wearing these pants from zara That makes more sense. Um, I'm just wearing these pants from Zara, and then I'm just wearing these shoes from, oh, from Nasty Gal, actually. Yeah, so I'm just going to wear, the, I rarely ever wear shoes like this to the office, but I thought I'd mix it up a little bit, you know? But I'm um, just wearing all black, because I'm bloated from my period, so I kind of just want to, I just wanted to wear something that was very slimming, so I kept it all black today. And I, I must say, I look quite... So, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I just wanted to do a quick intro, as I said. This vlog, today is currently Wednesday, but um, this vlog is going to go back to the previous week. So you're going to go back to the beginning where I started off a fun night with my cousins at Top Golf. so... See you back here, maybe. So today's Friday. It's currently 7.06 p.m. September 11th. Um, currently picking something up from the store. Then we're going to be heading out. We're going to be going to Top Golf tonight. Um, we were supposed to go last week when I was with the cousins. You guys saw that in the previous vlog, but it was too last minute. We couldn't get our reservation, so we booked it for the following weekend, which is today. So um, Courtney, Tiff. Renee and AJ and I we're gonna go to Top Golf. So yeah, I'm in the car right now waiting because we're grabbing something from the store. And <laughs> I feel kind of like I don't know, like scattered right now because I actually just woke up from a nap. Right after work, I went to Korean barbecue and definitely had a lot to eat and I desperately needed a nap. So I slept. And you know when you wake up like from a little baby nap and you just feel like <gasps> Like, is it Monday? Is it Tuesday? <laughs> I feel scrambled, but um, I'm drinking some water to kind of bring myself back to life. So, yeah, just giving you guys a little update. And, um, anyways, just rambling on. I'll see you guys at Top Golf. All right, Court, you're up. <laughs> so, you wave your club right here. All right, you got it. Nice and steady. All right, you got it. Woo! That wasn't bad. Courtney, pat yourself on the back. <laughs> All right, Tiff. High and swing. Woo! Okay. Tiff, come on. You got it. You got it. All righty, Riri. All righty, get your form right. That's it. 
All right. Are you ready? How are you feeling? I'm, I don't know. I'm not nervous. <laughs> let's do it. All right. Let's do it. I think oh, so. You're looking bright. I know. That's what I was here for. Not Good morning. Today is Saturday. Saturday. Yep. And I'm up and ready to go to training. I'm not going to take you guys though because I feel like you've seen me work out several times. But um, after training, we go to Jackie and Son for a little grub. And then I'm going to go get my hair done today because I desperately need a wash, a roller set, and... I need everything so I'll take you guys with me to do that I'm about to head downstairs now and um, head out so let's go I'm so tired you guys I got home so late last night the fact that I'm even up right now to go to training shows that I'm dedicated to this which is so good I'm so proud of myself because usually they didn't hear you Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys I'm vlogging on my phone because I left my camera in the car but workout was difficult to oh say God. the least like it was very, very diff difficult, difficult. Yeah, it was it was a lot. So we are at Jackie and Son. It's right okay. here on the little corner. Our favorite after workout little thing. I always get the green boost, and Renee always gets the mango supreme, no bananas. No banana. <laughs> it's not that I don't like bananas, but I don't like bananas like mixed and stuff. So I feel that. Of a flavor. Yeah. So. I just got home from Dominican Sparkle and training and Jackie and son. I got a doobie as you can see here. Um, I don't, whenever I get home from getting a doobie, I like to take out the pins and just um, put a scarf on. I don't like to keep the pins in there too long because my hair, um, the creases from the pins are gonna stay and I hate that. Um, so I'm just going to take out the pins Then I'm going to do my nails. I have to change my nails because the white polish is so dirty You guys can't see how filthy it is from that distance, but it's so nasty like when it's gross I'm not going to show you. Yeah, that's the plan for the evening later on We're going to this Mexican spot for Abby's birthday because um, she is up from Florida for a short while and then she wanted to celebrate her birthday as she was here. So we're going to go to this Mexican spot in, I believe it's like North Jersey. I don't know where it is actually, but it's a bit farther down. She saw it on TikTok. Um, it looks pretty cool. So that's my plan for Saturday. And then tomorrow, I don't know what my plans are. Right now I'm open, but yeah. Let's go do our nails, bonnet is on. After my nails, I'll shower and stuff because I'm still sweaty from the workout, but I just want to do all this beauty stuff first and get it out of the way so I can, you know, shower and relax and probably get some editing done because I'm so behind. lay this towel down because I really don't want any scratches on this desk because there's no like protector for it on the top this is the LED lamp I'm just gonna change the color I'm not gonna do any fills or anything this is the color I'm going to be using this is my favorite red polish it's called flirt alert and it's by the brand perfect match I love this is the only red I wear this and OPI Big Apple Red, I think it's called. So this is the color for today. I need my drill. And I also need cuticle oil. Um, this is the top coat. Why does this look like it's empty? Please don't be empty. Okay, it's fine. Should be fine. Do, 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 do. 
Oh, I also have another topical coat. Okay. All right, so let's get our nails done. Shouldn't be a long process, hopefully not. Um, so that's that. Got some shapers in here. All right, let's get this started. Forwarding to a couple hours later, it's now after five and we're about to head out to the Mexican restaurant that I told you guys about for Abby's birthday. And this is the OOTD or OOTN <laughs> outfit of the night. It's pretty casual there and so decided to wear this. And this bodysuit, the black top, is from Zara. I showed you guys recently. However, it's the one that had the shoulder pads, but I cut them out because for some reason shoulder pads just do not look good on me. So I don't, I remove them. But a lot of Zara clothes as of lately, like, have been having like shoulder pads. Like every single thing has been having shoulder pads. But they're very easy to remove, so I don't mind. Um, yeah, so this is the um, top, just this black one. So this is these sweatpants, and I'm going to be wearing some white sneakers in case you're wondering. I just don't, don't have it on yet because they're by the door. And um, I decided to carry my new bag that I got, but I decided to take off the shoulder strap and wear it as a shoulder bag for the very first time. So this is the strap here, which I love. I love the strap. It's so thick, and it can be worn as like a belt also. I'll show you guys that one day. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm wearing for the evening. Um, we're about to go meet up at Renee's apartment now. So I'm going to bring you guys and see you guys when we get to the restaurant. So yeah. Abby, yeah. you want to show your outfit? I'm not sure. And here is Abby's outfit. Looks so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've never seen you in a dress before. Oh, no, I'm lying. We went, we went to church for so many years. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen you in a dress before, no. Yeah, we used to go to church like every Saturday. Yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, this is our outfit. Meet you guys when we get to Renee's. Let me just blow out this candle. We made it to... Renee, my phone! I need it for pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they see that you're crazy. I hope they see you're crazy. <laughs> Step away. Step away. <laughs> Step away. <laughs> no, that video should say Step away. Step away. <laughs> oh my god. 
All right, we're just I'm um, goofing off here, but we're walking to. <laughs> Um, what is this place called? Poncho's Creek. Okay. Oh, we're <laughs> guys. Did you hear that dog bark? Okay, I'm gonna go. This is a very multiple dogs. <laughs> Hey guys, good morning. I just woke up and I just pulled out the camera because it is freaking cold. What are we gonna wear? What are we gonna wear to work? What are we gonna wear? Oh my God. I need to go brush my teeth and wash my face because... Um, <laughs> should we wear this? This is like the little rope thing that I got from Zara. I don't know. Okay, let me brush my teeth, wash my face, and then make her come back. Hold on, because. I love it when we play. Alright, guys, I've showered and I'm um, doing my little, you know. So now I'm just gonna make my bed, then I'm gonna start doing my makeup. Can you believe I have 30 minutes to get ready and be out the door and be in my office? <laughs> and I'm over here just taking my sweet little time. I always tell you guys if I know I'm gonna be late, I don't rush because there's there's nothing that's going to prevent me from being late at this point. If I wanted to be on time, I should have woke kind of earlier, but usually in the mornings, I play my Wake Up Happy playlist on Spotify, but copyright. Also, I like spraying this Zara perfume on my pillows. It's the Cashmere Rose. It's such a, it's like a warm vanilla sugar kind of scent, but like lighter. Like the ones that I don't put my face on. I don't put my face on these at all. My face ones are to the back. So I'm going to quickly do my makeup and then I will see you guys once I'm done with that. All right guys, I'm done getting dressed. You guys can hear the construction downstairs. I'm so sorry. I don't know what they're building. Yeah, sorry for the construction sound. They're building something down there. But yeah, I'm gonna wear that Zara top. Very boobalicious. So I'm gonna sew it up just to here i'm just gonna put like a little a little stitch in there like the, the slightest stitch something that's easy to take out like when i get home later yes i know how to sew i learned in um jamaica at school they had a home class home economic class where they teach you how to cook fold do laundry and stuff like that And I learned how to sew there. That's good enough for me. I just wanted something to kind of cover. Alright. That looks pretty good. It's so funny. I'm still late for work. I'm going to sit on a sewa shirt. Can you guys believe that? I am late for work. I'm going to sit on a sewa a shirt. But right now, I just put a little tiny stitch there. Um... We just go cut this thread. Also, after work, I'm gonna head to the mall because I have to return something at Aritzia. This is not the one. I got um, this little, I'll show you. Oh, I got this little thing from Aritzia, not a fan. So I'm gonna return it. Oh, I found my ear pods. I was looking for these. 
I was literally turning this place up. I was just about to order a new one and I said to myself, I'm gonna look a little bit harder first. So yeah, I'm going to return this little top to Aritzia. The receipt is, is here because it does not fit me properly. So I'm gonna return this. I found my AirPods, so it's a good day. Um, I'm basically just going to head out now. I'm late enough. I'll just get breakfast um, when I get there. And um, yeah, let's go to work. All right, you're back to me. And I know you're probably confused. Like, Octavia, why are you editing the vlog like this? What sense that make? What sense does it make for you to be doing this? Like, it's like you're you're um, you're traveling through time. But I, I get it. I know it's so annoying. I hate when I watch a vlog and I see this exact thing. But um, anyways, at the moment, I was just taking selfies and my car is about to arrive. So I'm just going to leave for work. I'll catch you guys another day. And I'm about to just put my mirror back where it belongs because currently it's leaned up against my door as you can see and i'm just going to put it back where it belongs got people to work met money because my bills appear so I okay so i just got home from work and i thought i would show you guys how i make my oxtails i seasoned up some oxtails well i didn't season it abby's actually visiting from florida and she was home so i told her to season it up so when i get home it's ready to cook um, just to kind of save some time. Actually, let me go close those windows because I think there's kids outside. Hold on. The kids are so cute. They're playing outside. I love seeing when kids are playing outside because I feel like that's how I grew up. I was always outside. Like from daylight till night come, I was outside playing. I never had like video games and stuff growing up. I never had any of that. I just had outside <laughs> to play with. So I love seeing kids outside playing. Anyways, oxtail is seasoned up and everything. It has, you see all the juices in the bottom marinating. So we're just gonna braise it first and that's just like frying it on a high heat just to kind of get it brown. And then um, I'm also gonna make rice and peas. And I know this is kind of like a big meal for a Wednesday, but I'm hungry, okay, I'm hungry. So <laughs> let's start cooking. <laughs> So now I'm just going to add the oxtails back into the pot, something like that. Let me give it a little stir. I'm going to stir it up so everything can get covered with the, you know, seasonings. Then I'm gonna take the little water that I had left. I'm just gonna pour it on top. I'm so ready. Then when this is like halfway done, I'll start the rice and peas. This doesn't take as long, so I don't wanna start it yet. So I'm gonna start it like when this is almost done, so yeah. If you guys can hear, I have the kettle going because you're gonna need to add more water as the cooking process goes on. And I suggest you add hot boiling water just to kind of make sure that, I don't know, it does something. I forgot what it does, but it does something. Anyways, now I'm going to have some wine, you know, to take the edge off. It's like after work, you know? Um, my roommate has some wine in the fridge. I've never had it before. Cheers. Oh, that's actually quite nice. Mm. 
I just moved it around a little bit. As I said, I'm gonna just clean up the kitchen, kind of like straighten up, because I did use a lot of stuff. I have veggies, plates, mixing spoons. I'm just gonna clean up a little bit. Um, make sure that the water is boiled for whenever I need to add more water. And um, I'll keep you guys updated as the process goes on for sure. Um, I was gonna do an unboxing, but I feel like I wanted to save my camera battery for, for the cooking process because I want you guys to be able to get everything. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna finish this. Probably listen to some music. Hey guys, so today is Thursday. I'm about to go do a workout right now. I'm all dressed and ready. I'm not going to, oh my God, do you guys see how <laughs> my boobs do not fit in this anymore? This is from Gymshark and the medium is too big and the small is, well, all my boobs are spilling out from the side. <laughs> but it's okay because it keeps them strapped down and they stay firm during the workout. Anyways, I was gonna say um, I didn't work out this week because our trainer had to cancel due to an emergency. So I haven't worked out all week, which isn't good. I'm really trying not to fall off my routine because I am so lazy. Like I'm one of those people like, oh, no training? Sure. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just do a little workout. I'm gonna do 60 minutes. I'm gonna do like a 30 minute cardio high intensity workout and then I'm gonna do 30 minutes of like weightlifting to kind of like tone some muscles and I'm trying not to miss any workouts you guys because to be quite honest I've been feeling so good about my body and myself because I've been sticking to my routine and I just don't want to fall off because it's, it's gonna make me really sad it's gonna make me feel like a failure if I don't follow through and because it's been making me feel so good I haven't been like down my mood's been better, I'm more confident in myself, I just feel, you know, so much better. I can't even stress that enough. So, um, I definitely don't want to fall off. So I'm just going to go to the living room and do a really quick workout. I'll bring you guys with me, um, yeah. As you guys can see, I'm not really excited to do it, but once I start, it'll be fine. <laughs> Wait, are you guys dirty right now? Hold on. I'm going to wipe one off. Let me wipe you guys off. Go ahead and drop down to that mat for our first exercise. We're going to be switching back and forth between bicycle crunches and a lunge jack. Now, a lunge jack, we're going to have to stand back up for. Before that, let's go ahead and start. 
keeping those hips down nice and low, just like a regular plank position. So nice straight line from shoulder to ankle or as close to as you can control. All right, guys, I made it. I'm just gonna sit here and finish this water because I didn't drink too much during my workout because I was just, I couldn't even drink water, it was so hard. So I'm just gonna finish this and then um, while I'm doing that, I might just edit a video, get those, get this vlog started. It's Thursday and I haven't even edited it yet because as I said in my previous vlog, I was gonna start uploading my vlogs every two weeks, but I feel like this vlog is going to be ready in time for Sunday because I already have enough footage. Work isn't that crazy this week, so I feel like I have time to kind of like edit and stuff. So we'll see, no promises. You might see this vlog on Sunday. I just feel bad because everybody's gonna be like, I thought you said every two weeks and now I'm uploading. I'm so like confusing. I am just, don't pay me no mind, please. Don't pay me no mind. <laughs> so we made it to Halston Farm and now we're in the, um, the farm area where we get to choose some fruits and veggies, put them in our bags. That sort of thing. Everyone's here, Renee, um, Corey, Abby and Tiff is picking some vegetables and fruits right now. We're trying to find the sunflower field because I've never seen one before and I really want to pick a sunflower. However, this place goes on for, for miles and miles and miles. All right guys, we're currently on our way up to the pumpkin patch right now. Sorry for the lighting going in and out. It's um, approaching golden hour at this time. But um, yeah, so far we're having a lot of fun. We're definitely doing a lot more walking than we anticipated. The girls are behind me right there. <sighs> so definitely a long walk to the pumpkin patch, but um, yeah, hopefully we're able to get on like the hay rides going back. Happy Sunday. Um, it's currently 11 something a.m. right now. I have been going non-stop since 7 a.m. I kid you not. I've been doing laundry, cleaning, organizing, getting myself ready for the work week. Um, but right now I'm about to head out to European Wax Center. I'm, um, I need to go in to get a wax. I was supposed to go on Friday, but I just could not be bothered. I was like, you know what, I will go. <laughs> Let me reschedule. I also wanna do an unboxing when I get back home because I have a ton of stuff from Target, Amazon, a whole bunch of stuff that I thought you guys might like to see. So I'm gonna do an unboxing when I get back home and then we can kinda close out the vlog. Um, I think when I was editing, we were up to like 36 minutes, so it's already long. So I don't wanna make it any longer. So I'm just going to, when I get home and do the unboxing, then we can close out. But yeah, that's pretty much the plan for today. Just your typical lazy Sunday. Um, hold on. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my little Sunday plans. I'm just going to head out now to get this wax. And I wanted some meal prep, but I really don't know. I'm kind of like still tired from last night. I didn't, we didn't really get, we got home a little bit late. And I, after the farm, we cooked the produce that we had picked from the park, from the farm. So we, we found eggplant, we found tomatoes, and we added it to our dinner like, and we, cooked it i'll insert pictures on the screen um but it was so cute i, lo I love that like there was just such a fun experience like we went farming we went to pick produce and then we cooked it how cool is that so but yeah
Okay, I'm back home. That appointment was horrible. Like, it was so painful. I don't know why it was so painful this time around, but I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit nervous, so maybe that's why. First thing I got is from Murad. They sent me some stuff from their new vitamin C collection. Very excited. I've been using them. As you can see, the box is open because I've been trying them out. So they sent me their vitamin C brightening serum. They sent me their vitamin C dark circle corrector they also sent me a toner so these are the three products that i received from murad i love vitamin c products this is a very big part of what has been helping to clear my skin vitamin c has been a game changer for me personally however i'm still testing these products out but i've been using them for about two weeks now a week and a half ish and I completely love, and I love that they don't leave stains on my pillows. The other ones that I was using from Olay Enrixen, I feel like they were leaving some sort of like yellowish residue on my sheets, my pillows, and that was very annoying. So I'm so happy that this does not do that, which is probably the best thing for me pers personally because I love, um, but still trying them out yet, but so far, so good. The next thing we have here is from Tiff. Tiff, thanks for sending these over. Tiff Daily Beat, we follow each other on Instagram. She does great makeup and she has her own makeup line. So she sent me four lippies here, two for me and two for Renee. So once I'm with her, I'll swatch these out with her. And she also sent me this bronzer that she had and she wanted to know if I would like it. And it's in this beautiful brown color. It's so freaking pretty, I cannot wait. And this pouch is going to be used to very it's gonna get used because it's so big. It's such a big pouch, but not like a big, like clumpy one. It's like very sleek, perfect size. I'm gonna be putting my stuff in here and carry this in like my purses. I love this. So this is from Tiff, so a big thank you. So, I also got these things from Amazon. It's just some extra batteries for, for the camera so I don't have to always wait for it to charge. Also got this tripod because the handheld one that I have, I hate it, so I decided to get a new one that's like a little bit smaller and like firmer. It should be easier to use, so I'm excited to use this moving forward. And this is from Amazon. From Target, I got these two black t-shirts. They're basically like v-necks, very simple. I wore these when I was a waitress, like back in the day, and I used to love them. Um, I got them in a size small, and I got two of these, and I love them. They're from the line A New Day. You guys know I love this line at Target, so this is what this is. From Target, I also got the makeup remover wipes but the singles, and then I also got the sunscreen. It's SPF 100, I don't know if that's a little bit too excessive, but it was on sale, so I just got it. And that's what I got from Target, just these two things, well three. The next thing I have here is from Kaya Cosmetics. She sent me a box with some skincare products. Can't wait to be like incorporating these products into my little self-care routine because I love just self-caring. Ooh, and I'm so excited to try her whip. I currently use, um, this cashmere butter thing from Bat Snob, which I love, but I think this is going to be like the same thing, so I'm very excited. Let me just get the products all visible for you. So this is what I have. It's basically the body scrub, citrus whip, clay mask, sweet nourishing oil, which I currently use and I'm obsessed with it, and the African black soap, but it's in the liquid form. So excited to try these out, and I love her packaging as well, even though I just freaking ruined it but you get the point very nice and even the smell just smells like woodsy and earthy and like organic like freshly made no chemical stuff I love that so thank you I also picked up this from European Center as I was there today this is the smooth me in grown hair wipes it's kind of like a chemical exfoliator very very good and this was recommended to me, so I'm going to be trying it out for the first time in their body polish. So I'm very excited to try these out for the first, well this for the first time. This I have, I've been using for a while. I swear by this product for the bikini line. Very, very good. 
so that's what we have all right guys that's pretty much it i'm about to get back now to completing my sunday chores i have so many to do today as well as some other things that i want to get done before the work week starts and i won't have time for so yeah i'm just going to put this footage now on my computer and get started on editing this vlog um i really hope you guys were excited to see this vlog up considering i did say i was gonna upload one this week but it was ready so i just said what the hell just upload it um yeah so thank you guys as always for watching i appreciate it so much and i'll see you in my next one